Hello, this is that Goji here. Welcome to the view. <laughs> I was about to say imagine, but man, but cut. <laughs> anyway, uh, this is another review, and today we'll be viewing the Millennium of Godzilla. For those who don't know, I did the show hour like months ago, and then I believe like earlier this month I did. The era, and now I'm moving on to the millennia so fast. Might as well. But today, I'll also, one thing I'll also be including the Trisol films because I technically count those as millennia, even though they're made by a different company other than Toho, but I technically count that as the millennia. I'll be doing. I put the Trisol here, the Trisol, this is a 1988 Trisol film, and the series in here, because it'll technically count as Millennium, in my opinion. But with that said, let's get started, shall we? Also, if you guys are wondering if I'm going to do a hand, if I'm going to go back and do the hand up there, if I can find a copy. If I can find it in an archive, they probably have it on an archive. But with that said, let's get started, shall we? With the biggest piece of dog shit I've ever seen. And I got my cheat sheet right here. Ugh, the biggest piece of dog shit I've ever seen. That is one big pile of shit. I can tell you that. God, I'm Nothing else said. 3 out of 10. Straight out of the gate. Okay, well, fine. I'll go on to my details. <sighs> this movie is just goddamn right awful in every way. There's only like two interesting characters the Hank Mazzario character and the French guy. But, yeah, besides this, the, this movie is so not interesting. It's so frustrating how this interesting this movie is it doesn't even try to be good like it has a beginning first act but once godzilla comes in it just goes whoop this went down way this goes way down this goes straight down straight down in my opinion it's just terrible you know this volume a little bit but but it's just terrible knowing how bad this movie is. Just knowing how bad this is. And this is the first attempt. And if you look at scrapped concept art of what the original film was supposed to be, like the original one made by Trisaw, it was supposed to be Godzilla fighting a griffin. And like, but that would have been a better movie. But nope, they decided to go this way and hire Roman Emmerich. Yay! And look where that end up. Him, he's now hating the community. No one likes him. In this movie, you can tell he does not care a single bit about the character. This guy's a hat. It's not four bolt missiles. He's not. He none of four bolts missiles. He's not. Indestructible. He doesn't believe with Tom Breath. He sort of does. He blows on air and nights. He barely does anything. This movie is so goddamn bad of how hard it is trying. It's the worst Godzilla movie, in my opinion. One of the worst, in my opinion. Easy. 3 out of 10. 3 out of 10. Just a Big pile of dog shit. Just one big pile of dog shit. I'm sorry. There's no enjoyment out of this movie. I find no enjoyment out of this movie. I was suffering just watching this movie. I had to take a break because I was frustrated of how bad this movie is. Movie terrible. Just bad. Just a terrible movie. Just, it's just bad. 
Moving on, let's go to the next movie, which, thank God, it's a better movie. It's a way better. Oh, wait, I had a briefly mentioned the 1980 series. Oh, footage, footage, can't show that. Can't show that. I'll get cut by Grimp. But let's move on to the 1988 series, which, on God, is a lot, lot better. Yeah, <laughs> Night Sunday series. Easy, 9 out of 10. Okay, maybe not 9 out of 10, 8.5 out of 10, but I will say it does have its problems. It does have its problems. Like, some of the episodes are not really that good, but for the most part, it's pretty good. I love this series. It is easy, hands down, the best Godzilla cartoon out there. Not including Single Point. Well, Single Point is on its own. Well, I. This just best for between the single point and this one. But, but I both say this one's probably the best out of the three cartoons that we got in. Well, three animation that we got in. Like, it nails the character of Godzilla so perfectly. This is easily one of the best. And just listen to that opening. Like, come on, that, doesn't that get you hype? Yeah. Easy the best. Godzilla. Property out there. I love this. Easily the best property of Godzilla. And you can tell the people who made this understand Godzilla. This is what we should have gotten in the 1988 series, in the 1988 movie. This is what we should have gotten in the 1988 series. Not whatever we. This is what we should have gotten. I'd say movie, not that piece of dog shit that we don't speak of. Both that said, this movie is amazing. Love it. Poop ass piece. I love and Monster Wars best episodes. If I have them, they make five episodes. I like Monster Wars end of the line. Trust no one. El Gasato and the first and the first episodes. Yeah. Those are probably my top five episodes that I like. Yeah. Easily. Those are the best, in my opinion. Those are some good episodes. And yeah, this is easy, one of the best series out there. I can't recommend it no much. It's pretty good. And the characters are interesting. They all go through an arc. Sadly, we didn't get a true ending. Like, it just ends, I guess. Both that said, this, yeah, both that said, moving on. It's pretty good. I like it. Long tab. Let me find With that said, it's time for the 2000. Yeah, the 2000. <laughs> Easy. 7.5 out of 10. One of the best puzzle movies. One of the best cinema in the world. I love it. I just love it. I love it to death. It's so good. I watched this film so many times. I put this on Rewind.
I put this film on rewind. I put it on all the time. I've watched this film so many times. I've now been in the lines. Like, I think the entire MMO I've watched so many times, with exception from Tokyo as well, but this one, easy, one of the best. It falls, it falls up with a straight over plot of aliens want to take over the world by like, copying Godzilla. And instead of like aliens, like human, human sized aliens, it's pretty original. We got aliens inside of a spaceship that want to destroy Godzilla. With Godzilla still being out by a bad guy instead of him being the hero. Still the LA bad guy in this movie. <laughs> yeah, I love this film. And I prefer the American cuts better than the Japanese cut because don't get me wrong, the Japanese cut's still good. It's just the, it's just really hard to watch with the pricing of the soundtrack. Like there are a lot of side moments in the Japanese cut, so I, I recommend the American cut a little bit more. <laughs> Because the Japanese cut is pretty quiet in some parts. That's what probably, that's what probably brings it down a little bit. But besides that, I really do love both cuts of the film. I do love both cuts of the film, but I'll probably watch the American cut more than the Japanese cut. But they're both interesting. You know, right? And the characters are pretty interesting. They're pretty out of characters. Not really much to say about with the doctor being so cool. With I think what's his name? With there being a prediction network to predict Godzilla. Which is kind of redundant because you don't really need to predict Godzilla, but anyway, yeah, it's it's a cool idea. And this is the villain, who's pretty cool. Like a wall, I like this film. I've watched this a lot, and it's a first, and it's a good film to get to people into Godzilla. This is a very good film if you want to show someone who hasn't seen Godzilla yet, and just want to get them into the stepping stones of Godzilla. Because this is a very good first Godzilla film. You should show someone. Yeah, I will recommend. This is one of the best, one of the best Godzilla films. But with that said, 7.5 out of 10. Love this film. So good. One of the best in the entire time. Uh, honestly, love it to death. <laughs> it's not much praise I can give to this film. If I was to praise this film even more, I'll be here like for an hour. <laughs> but I love the soundtrack to this film. I'll see any American cut. And Olga, speaking of the monsters, Godzilla 2000, has a pretty interesting design. His, it's a pretty cool design. I love the design of this Godzilla. Probably one of my favorites. And Olga himself is pretty interesting. Like, he goes through our forms. Like, first, he has a, well, there's a UFO, which Godzilla fights, spend most of his time fighting in this movie. Once you see Olga himself, you see a Pokemon looking for him. And then you see Olga himself, and he looks pretty cool. I wouldn't mean. And the fight that he has with Godzilla is pretty cool. It's like a wrestling match, and it's pretty cool. Even though it is a bit slow, it's still a pretty interesting fight. And human story is pretty cool. It's pretty decent. And I overall enjoyed this film. I really enjoyed this film. It's probably one. It's probably one of the best good you know, films out there. That said, moving on. I love this film. Soundtrack is killer. Easy. One of the best films out there. Yeah, <laughs> with that said. Mecha Gears. I know I'm gonna get a lot of hate for this, but 
I have to enjoy this film. I know this isn't well liked in the community, in the Godzilla community, but it's a sad time. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I love this film. I will say it is a little bit of a letdown from the previous movie, but not that much. It's still pretty interesting. You get basic human plot, but with over top plot to kill Godzilla. Plot that can probably destroy the entire world, even worse than Godzilla can. If a freaking black hole, are you crazy? <laughs> you want to use a black hole gun? That's why I love this movie, because they're going so over the top. Like, this movie is, you can tell, it's just going way over the top just to try to destroy Godzilla. That's what makes this movie even fun. And how serious it takes itself. It's kind of funny how serious it takes itself with the ridiculous plot. It's so funny how ridiculous it is of how it takes itself seriously. <laughs> and, and we also get some new monsters, well, the one returning monster and two new monsters. We get the Mega Nulon, who appeared in Rodan. It's kind of new, well, sort of returning monster because the Mega Nulon somehow turned into Mega Nula. And the Megalula is actually a new monster, so that's a bit confusing. Yeah, with that said, love this film. Perfect film. Perfect film that. Perfect film. Perfect follow up. But I wish they would have used a different Katsu suit because when I first saw this film, I was a bit confused of. Was this like a follow up to. Godzilla? Was this like a follow-up to Godzilla 2000? Because they use the exact same suit. And when I always when I was young, I always thought this was like a sequel or a follow-up, but nope. It's uh, its, its own thing. Also, you gotta love the soundtrack. Dun dun. Dun dun dun. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, speaking of the soundtrack, the soundtrack's killer like always. Like, it doesn't matter which Godzilla movie you watch, the soundtrack's so killer with Subsidy 2, being GBK, and Godzilla's Revenge. I just love this movie. <laughs> it's so good. And speaking of speaking of the monsters, let's talk about the the human characters. Pretty interesting. Not much to them except for the main lead, which I can understand her morals, but she is okay. Not as good as I know she's like the first revenge role. To the the first theme of revenge role. Since Yuki. Yuki was probably the first one who wanted to give revenge on Godzilla, but he wasn't a female. But, eh. This one's a little bit better than. Not much. I will say her character is not really interesting, in my opinion. I think it's mostly to do with the, main, with the supporting cast that makes it interesting. She, so much. She's an okay. Character, in my opinion, not much to her. I think it's mostly have to do with the supporting cast that makes this movie really good. It's an all about good cast. It's well casted, in my opinion. And the story itself is pretty good. And the monsters fights. So it's from the first monster fight. Goes over to Mega Nulas. Yeah, not much really happens in that fight. It's like Godzilla just wandering around, just moving around, just standing there, just wanting a bunch of bugs and using his heat puff to destroy him. Not really much happens in that fight or anything at all. But in the final battle, oh, that's the episode. Once Mechagirus shows up, it is awesome. <laughs> Mechagirus is such an interesting monster. Yeah, it's basically a giant dragonfly. 
a giant scorpion dragon crab thingy giant bug basically a giant dragonfly but it looks so awesome she looks so awesome <laughs> Yes, that's right. I said she. This is, this is one of you female kaiju. Easy. One of the best kaijus. And the fight itself. Let's talk about that fight. Oh boy. That fight is easy. The best fight. The best fight. That fight is easy the best fight in the anime. Easy the best fight in the anime. One of the best fight in the anime. One of my favorite fights so far. Yeah, that fight. You gotta love that fight. And that theme, once you hear that theme, oh boy, that theme gets you wild up. Because of what you're watching. Like I said, I love the soundtrack. It has a kill soundtrack, and that fight is so fun. Like, the movie takes itself seriously, and then once you get to the actual fight, it's so funny. It's so fun about how fun it is. Like, I have a blast at that fight. That's easy. One of the best fights in the minimum. Hands down, the best fight in the minimum. Of how fun it is from the rest of the movie. <laughs> I just love that fight. It's so fun. Easy. One of the best fights in the minimum. One of the best fights, and I just love how Makagi was just toying with Godzilla, just messing with Godzilla the entire fight. Like she smiles. Like I remember this one part of the building. Like she basically knocks Godzilla into a building, knocks Godzilla into a building, and then like, what does Makagi do? She sees like a big sphere thing and just does this. And Godzilla says no, and then then she does it again and it's like please don't, and then Godzilla. And then she just slams it while smiling, and then basically watch the heat the rest of the building. That boy just made me laugh, and let's not forget the Godzilla belly flop. Belly flop. I love this fight. I love this movie. It's so entertaining. Easy. Sits. Easy. Sits out of 10. By hands down. I will say it's probably in the middle for me when it comes to Godzilla movies, but I still love it. I still love it. I love this movie so much. It's it's so good. Easily one of the best Godzilla movies out there. I just love it. I know people don't love this movie, and I know people tend to hate this movie, but I'm sorry, no. No, 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 no. I love it. I'm sorry, it's a very underrated Godzilla movie. Like most of the films in the mirror. Recession of one. A lot of the films in my mirror are very underrated. It's very unappreciated of how... And yes, the Mirror Mirror is my favorite era. Like I said, there's nothing... I, uh, I never understand it. With that said, let's move on to the next film. Oh boy, with that soundtrack, that gives you chills. 
GMK. Yeah, baby. One of the greatest films. And one of the best Godzilla films I've ever made, in my opinion, better than the Heisei Gamma trilogy. I know. Sue me. <laughs> if I'm being honest, this is better than the Heisei Gamma trilogy. Sue me. Yeah. Easily. 10 out of 10. One of the best Godzilla films out there. 10 out of 10. What could be said about this film that hasn't been said before? Okay, I'm being a little bit too generous. 9.8 out of 10. Because it does have its problems. A few problems, like Ghidorah himself and mostly Ghidorah. But this film is so interesting. I love this film. Like, it has something to do with. It's so mysterious and mystic of how this film takes itself. And you can tell it was written by a pacifist. Like, it talks about spirits, it goes into supernatural. And it's so cool of how this film takes itself. I just love this film. And you gotta listen to that soundtrack. Like, come on. No! I love this soundtrack. <laughs> Cause of GMK soundtrack is easy the best soundtrack out there. And I love GMK. It's so good. Like one of the best soundtrack out there. But come on. And the movie itself is so good. And I I never bored about this film. There's like no boring scene whatsoever. And who can be bored about this film? Like seriously, who? Who in my mind would fall asleep or be bored about this film? Like seriously. This film is so interesting. And the monster designs are the best ever been with such of good one. Like I you got the bear gun and Mafa and Godzilla. It's the most evil it's ever been. And Yui Tachibana, the, or the Tachibana family, are pretty interesting characters. And the side characters are also pretty... Know, it's all about well-casted. Well-casted. It's probably the, the most well-casted movie when it's the Final Wars. It's well-casted, in my opinion. Skydio yeah. Drones. 3D scan it's a book cast movie professional training to facilitate evidence collection for Ukraine's war crime prosecutors delivering on this promise it's a well casted movie manufacturing facility in California it's a very well cast movie Easy. 10 out of 10 the, the fourth my fourth favorite guts of movie in my opinion products in the market to support our partners like USAID Basing our operations in the USA allows us to have total control over it's easy, the entire manufacturing process. It's easy, my fourth best Godzilla movie. From the quality of our equipment parts to the training certification. My fifth. It's easy in the top five. Easily. This ensures our ability to maintain our highest It's my fifth favorite Godzilla movie in my opinion. Easy one of the best. I did not even realize it. Over the world. Sorry about that. But one of the best Godzilla movies out there. With that said, moving on. Ooh, Godzilla against Mechagodzilla. The best Mechagodzilla movie, in my opinion. Nine points in the town. Easy. Best Mechagodzilla movie. Best Mechagodzilla movie. Easy, hands down, the best Mechagodzilla movie out there. One of the best. It has the best Mechagodzilla and best... It's so good. I love this film. It's amazing. I just love how interesting this film, and you gotta love the main character. Um, what's her name? Akane. 
you gotta love Akane or Yumiko Shoto. I think that's the name. Yumiko Shoto's character or Akane. Yumiko Shoto character Akane. Akane is easy, one of the best. It's one of the best characters in any Godzilla movie. Easy, the best character in any Godzilla movie. When it's the Doctor says, "Ah, like she's like her role that she wants to get revenge on Godzilla, not just not just because she wants to get revenge, like oh I hate Godzilla, I want to kill him. No, she wants to self. She wants to redeem herself for those people that died because of her. So maybe taking revenge off Godzilla will make those people's death not be in vain. So she wants to take revenge out on Godzilla, not just for not just because she just wants to take revenge. She wants to make this it's it's complicated. But I over love love this movie and you gotta love Akane. She's easily the most fun character. And she's so likable. And I love her though. Her, she's easy the best character. And the rest of the cast is actually pretty good. If these are really thick. Well, maybe not. You can understand his problems. The guy who basically pits on Akane. Akiba. Yeah, Akiba. Akiba. You can understand why she pits on Akane. Because his brother was in the car. So we can understand why, but he he does harass her a lot, so he's kind of my least favorite character in the movie. But the main, the Prime Minister is interesting, like, he's probably one of the best Prime Ministers, in my opinion. And it's to the one from 84. Actually, nah, scratch that, he is the best Prime Minister, in my opinion. Like, he takes his job seriously, like, if he wants to get Godzilla dead, he does it, and he can do it. Easy. And the soundtrack, killer as always. Easy one of the best soundtrack. Easy. Best soundtrack. Many points hits that time. And you gotta love Kiyu himself. Like, Kiyu. 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 You're the best. You're the best. You're the strongest. You're the strongest. We're the meanest. We're the you're the meanest. You will fight. You will fight. They will die. He is easy. The best Mecha Godzilla out there. He's my favorite Mecha Godzilla. <laughs> and the fight with Godzilla is easy. The best because it's just Godzilla and Mecha Godzilla fighting. No interruptions from any monster, and it is entertaining. It's one of the best fights. Probably the second best fight in the Millennium Era, in my opinion. Also, for people saying Godzilla is weak in this film, I don't see it. He does put up a fight against the military. It's only when he fights Kyu, because Q is so OP, overpowered, is why people... I guess that's the reason why people think he's weak. But to be fair, Q is pretty... He always has trouble fighting against Mecha Godzilla, so I don't understand why people... I think he's just weak, and he doesn't. It's not like he gets hurt by the military. He destroys them easily. Like, really? You guys really think this guy's weak? I don't see it. I don't see it. I don't see how you guys think this Mikasa is weak. I don't see it at all. I honestly don't see it whatsoever. Don't see it once above him. Yeah, I'm sorry. No, just no. Just no. This is easy. The best my Godzilla film ever made. I love it the best. It's quite hands down one of my favorites. Easy, hands down. It's also a good Godzilla film. I know a good Godzilla film you could show someone, by the way. See, one of the best. I love this film to death. Yeah.
He's the best Godzilla film out there. One of the best Mechazilla films out there. Has the best Mechazilla, has the best cast, has I maybe mean, not the best Godzilla, in my opinion. His design's cool, but I can see why people hate him, but I don't think he's weak. I love this Godzilla. Easy. One of the best. And with that said, Easy love this film to death. How we watch it over and over again. No matter how many times this film never gets old for me. I love it. I love it to death. That said, moving on. Love this film. But not much can be said for Tokyo SOS because I think it's average at best. Yeah, I think it's probably the only dud in the in the Millennium Era, Tokyo SOS. It's probably my least favorite in the Millennium Era. But not to say it's bad or anything. I still love it. I still enjoy it. But from the previous film, yeah, it is a bit of a letdown from the previous film. Considering that they got rid of Akane and just replaced him with Kujo. And Kujo is so unlikable. You can understand why the guy just doesn't, like, he's not liked in his book effort. And he doesn't care about anybody. He only cares about the machines and himself. He's not liked. I just don't like his character. Not to say, and the main and the supporting cast is actually pretty good. It's just the main character that brings this movie down, in my opinion. And the fights are not as maybe not the one, with, but the fights are okay. They're not bad, not good. They're all right. The soundtrack, though, oh, the soundtrack's good as always. Like, come on, you can't go wrong with the soundtrack. It's easy one of the best soundtrack in any Godzilla movie. Like, you gotta love that soundtrack. Like, come on. Soundtrack is killer as always. Click, come on. Like, come on. Where can you go wrong with the soundtrack? It's. And this point character is not very interesting. Oh, uh, okay. Like, everything. It does the bare minimum of being a good Godzilla movie. But does it's pretty average in my opinion. One of the most average Godzilla movies out there. Pretty average in my opinion. Which eh. Eh. Well with that said. Not much I can say about this film. There's really not much to be said about this film. It does it's alright. It's there's not really much to be said about this film. That hasn't there's not really much I can add to this film. It's pretty okay. The monsters alright. Mafa. I will admit that Mafa is probably my favorite Mafa design and favorite Mafa incarnation. I love this form of Mafa, this design of Mafa, this show. I think he was cool as always. Godzilla himself. Yeah. I will admit, he is not very. He really doesn't do much. He just destroys the military and just walks through the city. Now, he doesn't really put up. Actually, the military will barely end this movie. He just wipes them out easily. Like. He doesn't really do much. He doesn't really do much in this film. Like, he doesn't do much at all in this film. He doesn't really do anything. Like, well, despite this being. Despite this film having the most Godzilla in it, 
like legit this is this film has the most one of the most appearance of god's love like legit 30 minutes of this film is dedicated to human and then the rest of the movie is just dedicated to monsters to non-stop monster action which i can understand why they did it because they wanted to make it grand like a big finale but they stuff so much monster action that it gets pretty tired after a while So, yeah, in my opinion, it's probably, probably my least favorite anime, anime. but I will say the soundtrack is killer, like I said. Soundtrack is always killer in Godzilla movies. It's probably the best. It's not my favorite Godzilla movies, 5 out of 10 in my opinion, but it's pretty average. With that said, we're on to the next one. Wait a minute. Isn't the next one... Hmm. What ended the haste? What ended the millennium again? <gasps> oh, yeah. Oh, hell yeah. It's my boy. It's my boy. My favorite Godzilla movie ever made. The best Godzilla movie ever made. <laughs> it's... Yeah! Listen to that soundtrack. Bow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Doesn't this soundtrack get you hype? Yeah, that's the final wars. Best movie ever made. Infinity Stars out of 10. One of the best movies. <laughs> yeah, Infinity Stars out of 10. Okay, fine. 10. Okay, fine, 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 fine. 10 out of 10. But come on. It's one of the best movies ever made. It's. I have never bored throughout this movie. This movie is non-stop action. Non-stop insanity. Balls to the wall insanity. A 50th celebration of Godzilla that you don't take seriously. You just turn your brain off and just watch this movie. It's so fun of how interesting this movie is. I love this movie to death. It's so good. One of the best Godzilla movies ever made. It's Hands down, best Godzilla movie ever made. I love this film to death. There is nothing much that can be said this film. This also has one of the most kaijus in it. And Godzilla himself, complete badass. One of the most overpowered Godzilla, in my opinion. Yeah, I know people say that Heisei Godzilla is the most most powerful Godzilla. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. No, this boy, this final Gorgia can beat the Heisei Godzilla. He can beat Burning Godzilla, goddammit. I'll go that far. He can beat Burning Godzilla. He can beat Legendary Godzilla. He can beat any Godzilla. He is the most overpowered Godzilla. Yeah. He bites it full of all these monsters. He can beat any monster because he is Jason Voorhees and one of the best Godzilla. And yeah. Enough said. Best Godzilla. Best Godzilla movie ever made. I love this film to death. But not much can be said about this film. Over and done Human characters. Beauty. S. Best character in this movie. Gone Fire. Also good character. And speaking of S. S, you can tell. Both Japanese and sub. Both dub and sub are having blast with the role. They're having a blast with the role of just playing S. They're so over the top. They are so freaking over the top of the role. Like, I can remember all the lines. Like, I know that tuna head was not much. That's. Wait a moment. Ah, never mind. <laughs> Very interesting. So, what's your point? I can remember all of his lines. I love it. Oh my god. Oh my god. I love this guy. Oh 
I hope he shows up the next GSG bets. I really want to get an autograph from this guy. I will just like, oh my god, it's it's Etz, Etz himself. Yeah. And I hope he wears the outfit. He's got to wear the outfit. Fit the part. He's got to wear the outfit. Hey, come on. I just saw this guy. Oh, my God. Thumbs up. Best guy ever. I'm like, come on. Let's do... Yeah. I'm sorry. This movie is so good. It's so amazing. It's easy. One of the best guys on movies ever made. One of the best movies ever made. I love this film death i'll watch it over and over and over and over again i'll put this movie on a 24 hour loop 24 7 hour loop of how many times i watch this film isn't there much that's already been said about this film like i love this film to death it's easy hands out there best guys on movie ever made love this film and it's easy if i'm being honest if this was the last guys on movie ever made i'll be satisfied I would be satisfied that this is the last Gaza movie ever made. This is easy. And if you, I can understand why. Well, the reason why I felt at the box office is mostly due to Incredibles coming out at the same time. At the same time of this movie. Yep, it got outperformed by the Incredibles. And Spider Man. So yeah, I can understand why I got them in the box office. It was released like a month earlier, around November. It probably would have done better. But that's that. This film, easy, one of the best films out there. Best film ever made. Easy, 50th anniversary celebration of Godzilla. And you can tell Ryu Kinemura loves Godzilla. He put his heart and soul into this movie. He put his heart and soul into this movie. That's for my opinion. That said. With that said, that ends the my review. If you guys wondering if I'm going to do like a Monsterverse or Waywire era review, I'm probably going to wait. The Waywire era review will probably come out after Godzilla, after I've seen Godzilla Zero and not Godzilla Zero, Godzilla minus one in theaters and the MonsterVerse one come out sometime next year. Like after I've seen the MonsterVerse one in theaters, I'll probably watch that when it comes out in theaters. I probably would have seen that already by then. Who knows, but in my opinion, I'll probably wait until minus one. So it might be another like four months until the next many of until the next air review. That's a lot to the next air review. But with that said, I might do like a gamma trilogy air review or something, or I might do. I might do a Monster Vs review, Monster Vs era review, or Modern Era review, and just do reviews on the Mice 1 and Godzilla It's Kong. I might do like a Modern Era review, maybe for Godzilla Month. But with that said, this is Anagogy sign off. And remember, stay big, G fans.